All right, let the fun begin. Two new posts from NeoTruth. Uh, I love to see it as a well-known and probably now documented hater of TNT to not trust TNT or Dominic Law. So in today's episode of why you shouldn't trust TNT, let's just go for a little, little peruse. All right. I like when it's right in your face, just like lays it out. Look like, look at it right there. There are about 140k users daily, and 29% of those are food club butter, food club FC butter accounts. So there's always been various memes about Neopets. Like the, obviously the biggest one is like everything I learned about capitalism, I learned about Neopets, which was you learn nothing. But the even funnier meme that has nothing to do with Neopets is like. If you owe the bank 25k, that's you problem. If you owe the bank 25 million, that's the bank's problem. And this is exactly the reality of the food club botter, which is it might be one or two, three guys together. I'm not really sure that how this actually works, but it's basically one person. And essentially, the reality is to Dominic Law and to anyone who has any level of like competency. They need this botter more than anyone else in the game. They value this person more than any single person in the game. This person brings them more revenue, ads, and income. <clears throat> like, he is, like, Dominic goes to bed, and when he wakes up, he goes, is he still playing? Is the FC botter still playing? Because that, that's how much they need him. All right, so just this is just showing 30%. So thir 3 out of 10 players are doing dailies every single day and taking money, screwing the game up. And just I hopefully we can find some more people who want to ride on the, you know, mental gymnastics backflips of how Neopets is still whatever. Like to me once once the game lacks any point of integrity, it's just dog shit. I'm going to you shit on Neopets a lot here, so hopefully this goes on for 20-30 minutes. But, like, truthfully, if you're playing Neopets in 2024 and spending money on NC items, to me it's basically equivalent to someone who's playing slots at a casino. Where, like, if you're dumb enough to play slots in the sense where, like, you need to understand you're losing money. And hopefully you're having fun. Like, slots isn't a money-making thing. And <laughs> that's not how it works. There's an RTP where there's a return to player. Where if you played infinitely, the machine is programmed to pay out X amount of money. Whether it's 90%, 92, 94. But for, like, just say it's it's 95% return to player. That means for every $100 you spend, you're going to lose 5. <laughs> so, like, some people, like, that's fun. But, like... This is just, there's no integrity here. All right, this isn't, some people might, might be confused, but there's an R100 slot on the Wheel of Extravagance. I think it's about one in a thousand from what I've been told. Might be even rare, but basically you're like, why do they want to spend 100K on a spin? It's a losing endeavor. It's because these R100s, they can sell for real world money. Like, Ryan P is like, for some people it's fun, interesting. You can buy, gamble, do shit, but like, you can, they, they don't ban people who do like any of that kind of shit, but it's a lot harder to track a single trade than someone who all of a sudden has 500 million and they go buy a bunch of shit. And collectors who want shit, this like, let's, let's go look at it for a second. We have time. I, I, you know what? I got my nice chai tea here. You know, we're getting, we're getting, we're getting warmed up here, guys. It's going to be good. All right, I made a video on this before, but uh, right here, so it says less than one percent chance. I like I've had three friends hit this thing, and I've had like five, ten hit the paintbrush. But are there's only a hundred items, and what's kind of funny is how some are complete dog shit. All right, so it's gonna count. Okay, even better. 
So you could you could hit this on the R100. I've never seen any of these come up actually, because I'm pretty sure if you hit this, you wouldn't post it. But so here are these ultra comic clear items. So this is what the Food Club botter is also like. Price history. Uh, it'll treat the TP. So that's actually pretty cheap. That's pretty cool. This doll. Let's see trading post. None that exists on here. This is specifically only given for these two things. This has got to be super rare as well. Yeah. The cards usually aren't there with that much. But I know the Chicago spray. I know that's these books are like the, the books and the is there any stamps here? I don't think there really are. But I know this is comically expensive. Another book. It's just wild to me. <laughs> That's good. Is that 50 or 5 million? I don't even know. It's 5 million. But yeah, so if you hit that wheel, the chance it's something here. I'm not even sure how well these even sell. But these books are... I mean, Quageki's pretty cool. Don't even show up on here. Don't even show up on here. Like... The, the amount of real money these are going for is pretty crazy. But yeah. That's crazy. Kind of makes me sad. But I've given up a long time. So recent items they buy. So once again, I'm about a Mohawk Skull and the Nova. So once again, like... It seems quite apparent that far more people who buy for real money from Nipit's items, they're buying items. They're not buying raw MP. But most people that like, if you played 10 years ago, that luckily if you had an item that like went up to like from like 100k to like a couple million, certain rare things went up. Not that, not that rare. But like he's overpaying so much for a sap. Like that to me is crazy. I don't even have it on here. Oh, right, that's why. It's not an R100. What am I doing wrong? Oh, it's season null attack P. Excuse me. So this guy's paid 1.35 billion, so I'm not sure if that's just transferring items or what's going on here, but because he could buy them here for 150 nonstop. Interesting. Bought 174 snags. They're going up in crazy value now too because people are anticipating the Battle Dome thing. Yeah. 1.4. I think it's like up to like over... It's like 5.5-ish I think right now. Ooh, it's back down. Like I said, I, there was a, a bot that had like literally I think like 2.4 million neg points. <laughs> <laughs> or like it was something crazy so like they could literally print these that they wanted to like it just it just showing you just the reality of how crazy stuff is but like 25 million for all this shit Royal Shield Ghost Gear Bomb is just we're just moving shit around it's all trackable once again like it trusting Neopets or TNT is just pissing in the wind yeah like they say we're looking into it, we're doing that, and it's just, it's just, like, just don't believe their lies. Like, before I read this post, let me just do something simple. Like, um, let me just see where I post this, my own Discord. All right. So I got a tip, and a guy was talking about it, that, like, this item, basically, is only really sold from bots. So let's take a little peek here. The Ancient... Sheku thing that basically these accounts are exclusively bought so what we're going to look for here is a pets that basically have no backgrounds they're going to have an 18, a, accounts about 18 years old they're going to have probably a, maybe an old trophy or two 
and a real person name probably too. So Greg. Ooh, this could be a real person actually. Must hear just a bot. But 15 year old account. Okay, interesting little name. All right, I gotta click on the actual things here. What am I doing? When I approved for you before, all these accounts. Okay, I could be a real person. Like this is this is looking like real name, nothing here. It'll all be empty. Like that's almost guaranteed to be a FC bot. Oh my. I'll, like the, everything basic, nothing added here. <laughs> Real name. No, yeah, nothing in the nothing in here probably. All right, Amkukitis. So like, like even the bot, yeah, I'm gonna guess that first count. Like even the bots were participating. I'm not sure how they scripted that to work, but you're gonna see a real name. You're gonna see an account that's 17 plus years old. Low avatar count, just like once a real person played this, but just here today, gone tomorrow. We're hitting all the C's alphabetically. Let's do three more here. So like when they say that they're looking into it, just like just know they're lying to your face. Like just take a just uh, motorcycles. All right. We have Emily. It's pretty cool to see people who actually at one point cared about the game and it's just been left blank. Some are obviously like, the more the account was played, the less it looks like an actual shell. <clears throat> yep, I mean, all the usual symptoms. If you're going to play 23 years, <laughs> all you have was the get, get free MP from TNT. If you get bored, you can go look through here and you can go report these people. It doesn't mean nothing. TNT doesn't like TNT doesn't care about the game in terms of integrity and bonding. They don't like they, they could go on the Neo Court. There's like 25, 50 people who could tell you the items that these bots do. And obviously you can see they're all L names. Usually like it, when you're out, you're playing free to play like I am. It'll usually come up with different letters. But yeah, like just if you get bored, go look through here. <clears throat> just like. A three a three day old account. This could actually be a real person, actually. That's kinda neat. So yeah. If you're selling something in your shop for one MP, life's not going very well. Maya, yeah, just got the trophy. Like just this is this is so demoralizing. Little baby dark angel. Oh, traffic lights. Yeah. 21 years old, 22 years old. We got a real name. Nerk mids? Doubt it. It's just so demoralizing. Just countless bots. You could just go here and click. That's A again. I'm going to look at three more here. But it's just... I just can't imagine spending money on a game that just like people see the, the state of the game i think you should support them like they, they, it's just i'm living for my dying wish that's actually a pretty cool name same thing like oh wow like it's we, we had this bot integrity and we're looking into it i saw like I, I looked at the very top to make sure it wasn't deleted or like a different shit like before And they're like, we're going to look into it. It's like, no, you're not. Don't like, you stupid idiots. Don't lie to me. Interesting. This person actually played at some point. And then this could be a real person, maybe. But it's, it's just, I don't know. It's just so, so beyond like any level of caring to defend it. I mean, like. Any other game, the community would be freaking out and saying, like, hey, like, do something. <laughs> exactly. Like, Neopets needs this person more than they need you or want you. Like, this, like, I told you, Dominic goes to bed and he just, like, wakes up. He's like, oh, he's still playing. He's still bodying. Thank goodness. 
yeah, like, I don't know why they just don't grift too, and they just like have like spend one dollar and get a million neo points. I'm like, I'm not sure they just don't do that. Yeah, like, this is only one botter, which is kind of funny, because there, there could be anywhere, but, like, there's probably a bunch of people who they have, like, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, like, alts and shells they use as well. Like, it's, that's, I wouldn't doubt. Like, if, if this guy's not getting banned, why would they ban you? Yep, no, they're going to risk it. And meanwhile, they want to sell you TCG stupid shit and a, a game for your phone. Meanwhile, they can't even have... They can't even take care of basic and game integrity. Not worth the post, but a user has redeemed 9,000 TCG codes. I saw this before. Yeah, in the old codes and database, any person that has DB access could actually just see all these codes and redeem them and sell them. Would the value on these old be worth anything? Obviously, they would be. So let's take a little peek. So he got a bunch of these, so I'm going to assume this is something. 1.4 million times a thousand. A thousand times a thousand is a billion. That's a hundred million, obviously. And all you have to do is just copy paste in a code to get an item. Okay, look at that. <laughs> you could go through stuff here, but like just. Should be pretty sad that like all the top end stuff, they're like, it's the inflators who are breaking the game. It's like this guy literally has been screwing the economy for like over a decade and TNT has been complicit with it. So, I mean. Pretty sad. This post is quite right that like, like it should be like, people always misread this when they say that they're terrified. It's like, they don't care about two, five, ten people. Like if 30,000 bots. The black market is just a really important part of the game. It's just like, it's relatively, they don't like premium sucks. The game sucks. Trading sucks. You can't like TP limit still 2 million. Neopass sucks, like, nothing they do makes the game better, it actively makes it, like, either more confusing, or, like, it's not relevant to the actual game, like, in terms of what people care about, like, there's no new quest, no nothing, no new, no new wheels, like, they're gonna, like, tell you, like, you're gonna have a 10 month event here, it's, like, boring as shit, it's, like, 6 months deep, the last AMA was fucking dog shit, where you, like, that, like, I wish I could have spent another hour just, like, going back with that terrible video. Like, <clears throat> they revealed nothing in that video. What a waste of time. Like, TNT, at this point, TNT staffers, like, if you work for TNT, I assume, like, you're working on your resume just waiting, like, because this game, this game's going to, it's almost going to fall apart. And, like, I'm not sure how it's going to happen exactly, but, like, this game is just waiting to fall apart and just implode. So, at some point, I assume when TNT starts to go downhill, they might ban the clones. Like I said. Uh, I just would rather play here. Play here. Go get your UC art. <laughs> like, for all this stuff's here. The game's, like, the game's free. And you just come here. Like, like Grundo is obviously, like, there's, like, it's a lot more of, like, a, like, I don't know, higher elite, like those, like that meme where the guys are like, like looking down below you guys, like it's like referral, they get punished too, like, if you want to actually have like a relatively open free game where like, no, like, there's a few people who post stuff for the quest, they don't price gouge, that you have fun, you relax, there's new news, alright, also this news page is better than actual Neopads. They added a new magical asparagus. <laughs> I love the lollipops in here. <laughs> new bucks, new art. All right. 20 minutes in. All right. So 
So that's how the top 25. I mean, knowingly buy it, I was most like, like, obviously we've had, a, if you have to the video, basically R100 stock and the stock in the shops, but they're unbuyable because of a glitch in the programming. But if you want to go see, is it, there's a video about it somewhere that Neo Tooth posted himself. Um, but yeah, like these items only exist unless like you've cheated to get them. So <laughs> I mean, like, th like this is a like this should be a game integrity problem. Like, yes, like there's always gonna be people who play the game for exploits, bugs, bodying, trading, real world shit, and like the yes, that's, but like the game is supposed to have a certain degree. Where it's like, hey, like we're we're gonna have people who are gonna break this down because we want I want to think the game is fair and free. By that I mean like free like like it's the gameplay you're gonna experience should be equal and fair to everyone to some degree. Yes, they can use the almost abandoned attic. Oh yeah. The game from like twelve to like twelve oh four you can't even get a lick in. Yep. They know that exists, like like obviously it's way past midnight, but when I see a new please don't be inappropriate. <laughs> it's the mate Neo's in the zone, oh man. <laughs> I am all the reason why the Fukla Botter has so much power is because it's not a team and count progression. Like, Neopets can put an actual, like, the, whatever, hidden tower. They could just sell you this shit for a set price. You could even do it in NC. And people would be like, it's, just, like, they could easily put in, uh, like, they could put a shop somewhere in the hidden tower here. Wait, where is it again? I think it's. I forgot where it was. Where's the hidden tower? Yep, I didn't just research where it was again. But like, I can almost promise you, if they all of a sudden put shit in here for NC, people would literally give a round of applause at Stan and be like, that's like, TNTs, just, they just can't beat the bots, so they're just going to go ahead and do it like this. And they would probably make, like, if they're going to run the game to the ground, they might as well. I don't really know why they haven't done that. But, like, all right, I've not seen Apple. 100 NC, this NC, like, it would, I don't know why they don't. Like, I'll be honest, like, just, the game, does, the game doesn't have integrity. So why don't they just do that? That's what I would do, like. The FC botter would just be selling MP. My experience? Yeah, like, MMOs and people basically in RPGs, people cheating nonstop is why I'm playing different games now. Like, to me, one of the best games that I've enjoyed lately is it called Against the Storm. It's a world building game. There's no bots. You just have fun. Love the music. Either it's low stress or tons of stress. It's awesome. Getting back into StarCraft 2 is kind of fun for me. Just having old games, it's fun. People who play it still enjoy it, but yeah. Obviously, I've played, you know, for a while. I, I haven't played in like a, well, probably a year now of RuneScape, but like an, an Iron Man where like you just can't trade people so they know it's all account. Like everything you got, you did yourself. Like it basically impossible. Well, like I said many times, it, like the bottleneck of content in a browser-based game is just minuscule. And when they don't update it, it's just, it's very bottlenecked. And it's just, it just creates a system where it just, a black market's going to appear. My brother. <laughs> just... <clears throat> okay. I tell you, most uh, wealthy people. The reality is, like, 
if there's a botter doing this with like free range, why wouldn't you want to like I'm not sure what the rates are, but like I've like in in RuinScape I knew a lot of people who literally bought and sold staking this trading actual Hari Venezuelans to play their account like real like <laughs> it's not a joke it's a real thing and the guy what guy who know he he was an inspector for oil rigs in the prairies basically <clears throat> and he's getting paid like he's working 12 hours and he's in the middle of nowhere he's working 12 on 12 off for two weeks straight and he's like yeah i can just go pay three hours of work and get like i can buy that of my want like there's just there's no no nothing if i get banned i'll just buy a new account and i'll do it again like he's like this I, there's no stress no consequence and the punishment it's like yeah like Oh, I lost a day of wages or maybe a little bit more. And then I can have fun for, I, I can skip like 500 hours, a thousand hours to do that. And that's how people see it. Like, they're like, I'm 30 years old now. I work 40 hours a week, 50. Yeah, I'll spend five hours this week for MP and go buy whatever, 200 Nerk mids and have some fun. <laughs> this person's, this person's got some pipe dreams. They really need to inform, like they don't. Like I said, this is the design, is to keep the botter. Like that. Like this person's fighting ghosts here. Those people just want to maintain. Like, I don't know where this like this status thing comes from. I guess I just play Neopets for different reasons, but like to a lot of people, like. This game has them up in their feels, where, like, it's, like, it's... When I was a kid, when I was, like, 12 playing the RuneScape, like, it was very simple. Anyone that was a higher level than you in the game was a no-life fucking loser. And any person who had less than you was a fucking noob. Like, that, that, that's it. That, that was how the game was basically played for, like, a lot of people. It was, like... If you're high level, get a life, loser. Huh? Like, go touch grass, basically, whatever version that was. <laughs> uh, of course, are unicorns. So once again, like, if the game's not gonna enforce integrity, like, you're you're gonna get rampant botting and cheating, like. Yeah, they're selling shit, saying shit. How to rank was like, when people like lack the common sense to be like, why would you do this? This is even fun. Like, when you can't even pretend to understand why people would cheat or exploit, like, you really should just delete your post. <laughs> like, derange. Like, <clears throat> if you like, when people can't understand shit posting, cheating, body, like, exploit, like, uh. Or like, even even like a, people who, have, who haven't met low level trolls in the game. It's just pets shouldn't be treated as trophies for status. Like it just, I just ignore it. Like I don't. I I have met a person who has flexed their pet to me ever. Like, the people who care about the name are the people who are like. You're, you're making the cast system. When people do this pet trading and shit like this, and they have real names, that kind of stuff, like, they're making the cast system exist <laughs> because they're chasing it and showcasing how bad they want it. And then, like, it becomes this dick measuring contest, as always. Also, I'm also, I also hate that TNT had, like, where the NCUCs, like, they go out of style, or like they become retired. Like, what a dumb concept. Like, it does all the choices they make at TNT. Just, <laughs> oh man, like, I don't know. Like, it just, why would you give them your money? What a waste. As people get older, how they view the game and how they experience fun is just different. You gotta kind of gotta see that. <clears throat> I do you think they Neopets was dog shit. I'm not gonna get it, no. I would
would really appreciate the people at the game itself on the neo boards which is a tiny bit they don't play the game like for all these dumb fucking memes about everything i learned about capitalism i learned about like they're here to make money they're not here to like make the game enjoyable like if they could do both they can but they're here just to make money <laughs> like they clock like they're an eight to five worker whatever their shift is this, like the small staff they have, they go in, do their job, they go home. They don't care. They don't, like, <laughs> what what fantasy land where I'm gonna spend 40 hours and I'm gonna spend an extra 20 hours of my like my week investigating, talking to some fan who doesn't understand like, what like. Oh man, just just crazy to see how naive people still are. I do get the vibe that a lot of people just have them to show up. Once again, like if you post on Reddit, you're like part of like the like whatever it's like five eight percent of people. Most people just lurk and read. But yeah, the people who post would care enough to care about elitism or like pet names. I don't care about pet name posts. Let's move past this. <clears throat> They shouldn't freeze the account. They should just take away all the items and put them in the money tree. H how's that going to make the game any better? TNT can't, can't stop, won't stop. If you could see all these items. <clears throat> this person doesn't start over. They have like these... He can gen items and do dailies. Like, you don't get it. Like, it... It's just like the borders with drugs. Like, they only, they're only they only going to catch whatever a suboptimal, like, probably most border crossings. Like, they're going to catch one in six smugglers. And, like, maybe a bit more or less than how dumb they are, but... They can all they can always do this. It's that's also an even better point. Like I said, go go play a different side account. All like it just find a different game. F find a game. Find a game that's gonna love you back. Like it's <laughs> like too many people like in sunken fallacies to cost. Where like they invest the game they invested too much time and money in, and they're like, no, I'm gonna ride it out. Um. It's funny how people are always trying to find a way where, like, where they their selfish desires just converge with Neopets. Like, I just, just, just devalue the entire game. It's like they can just make a shop where every item is like an NC. If they can just, just solve it, it'd be gone. Like every item, go ahead. That's what basically De Diablo Mortal was. Like, just let people go spend a hundred thousand NC and get it done. Like. Uh, that's very fucking cringe with Oppenheimer fucking quoting an atomic bomb. All right, this guy's doing the work right here. The tornado ring, I saw it on sale for 1800 IRL USD. Uh, John Legend, another hero of the game. Yeah, like I said, I, I did the math. Or not made the math. Neo treated the math. <clears throat> and I think of the 1,200 saps that came through, was it? Was it 1,200? Or, I think it was 1,200. I think he got 300 of the saps. He got, for every four saps, this guy got one of them. <laughs> Like, integrity and this just isn't a priority at the game. Darn hate us, but not long. Where he is still. Oh, I've been on hiatus, but not long enough for Dom's version of reality. Where he has dealt with the botter without an understanding. <laughs> yeah. How did you find this? You can easily find this site. There's a second post to go through yet. How exciting. Uh, I 
and update the item jetting. Last post I posted the ticket and the exploit. This got removed though. <clears throat> oh. Hello, thanks for providing the list. It appears to be quite comprehensive. I will begin going through it this week. Hopefully nothing has removed much. <clears throat> As if that mattered. But I will ensure to investigate thoroughly, like <laughs> As the kids say, cap. <laughs> if you have any additional information or concern, like, what a, like, I wish I could downvote this person, this, whoever gave him that comment. It's been two months and only 11 users out of the 1,000 have been frozen. And that's because of several self froze or they the other dumb shit. Whoever jumped these items is still free to sell them. Exactly. Like, it's part of the game, guys. Like, there is. A fairy shop is a battle dome. There's an FC botter who makes a lot of money and gets to fuck over all end game content and get all he wants. This is what I've been moved from the accounts. Super rare shit. <clears throat> Why wasn't the game flooded with like? You don't flood supply, guy. Like, it's like it's like with diamonds. Like diamonds are relatively common. Obviously, color matters and shape, and I want to call it. But like, he's not gonna flood the market if he's the only one who has the ability to to jet and sell, and people are gonna buy and think he's trustworthy. Then yeah, just one item per account. He's got forty, fifty thousand shells. Why wouldn't you do it? <clears throat> like TD's not gonna care that much. You're not going to investigate this. You would you would think, but they don't. And they haven't since they fired. Yep. After they fired this, like... That's the thing where, like... They made, they made a choice where they had, like... Granted, I'm, maybe, maybe it was a bit of an asshole of people still, but... Integrity's gone. I want that thing so bad. Thanks for the info. It's like, yeah, well, I guess you're really going to go shopping for it. I was iced. Oh, it's just so annoying. Witch hunting. Neopets mod team. Oh, the subreddit. Respectfully, I wouldn't describe my comment as harassment or a threat or it's like uh, I can't like Whenever I go to bed like I made the joke about Dominic praying the FC butter so like I can't imagine being a mod on reddit <laughs> like uh, Then again, like I, I've never paid for like a subscription on like Twitch or like sense like or gave it the notion of like live chat to some like I just can't imagine doing that. <clears throat> Prince sixty nine of the Mossy Moon Rock Connoisseur Take a little side thing here, this is just Seven-year-old account. Faithful to Neopets. I respect that. Look at my son and his son. It gets me nervous when people post, like, stuff like that. <clears throat> Don't ever talk to my son like that. We're here to escape the horrors and responsibility. Like, that's, like, that, that's another fucking lie. We're, we're here to escape the horrors. No, we're not. We're here to have a small community that uh, self-agrees and we just <laughs> sit in a circle, jerk each other off. Oh, yeah, I saw another post you wanted to look at. <clears throat> oh, yeah, I saw this. This is like a half post article or something or like whatever.
Is there a link to the actual site? Isn't this why they won't? Exactly. They, they want to say they're just. So we went like the food cutter always had like four thousand bots. So, like we went from like having like sixty thousand people to like <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's mostly returning players that are I've got a count that's twenty four years old. Or it's this article? I want to read it. Resurgence felt to the millennials. 40% are between the ages. There's no way that there's like 18 year olds playing the game. No way. I'm going to guess they count your age when no one would use like make an account and it says like give a year. I'm going to guess like people just put like in this, the same boring old number. That's my useful. Okay, I give you a five. I'm kind of sad. Oh, the food club bot. <laughs> like, I gotta find this fucking article now. Um, oh shit! Here we go. Look at this. Another dumb fucking formatted fucking website. From fucking like 2002 fucking. Little floppy disk insert right there. I do let me some useless though. An icon of millennials. Okay. I don't care about Olivia Packingham. Thank you. This is me. Like, play for years and then all of a sudden I could drive a car and I'm like, what am I doing? She logged back on. It was like walking into a museum. You know, a horror museum. It was no accident that Pac-Man returned Neopets and now it's a, re a bold rebrand. Did Dominic Lobb pay for this to be out here? Like, this is, pro this is propaganda. Consciously courting its former fans. What kind of, like, I, I had to go to journalism school to, to to write this propaganda the community name for its users set a number of reasons for their return near pitch resurgence felt specific to millennial what, what are you talking about felt personal per yeah crypto bro yeah real personal guys oh my goodness Many of the Neopians, <laughs> Neopians, <laughs> like they assume we're gonna know what that is. Asked to be quoted by username, preferring to keep their online personas separate from their real lives. You couldn't just say that I'm, I'm like John K. Neopets strong start, long decline. <clears throat> DP is the K, Adobe Flash. Law 36, remember using Neopets. <laughs> Even the last decade is downfall, lack of updates, death of Flash. We can play all the games on fucking Grundo and on Neo Classic. Under a group known as TNT, wow. They haven't restored shit. How the how the site was left is how the site still functions. With efforts to resuscitate Neopets has nearly tripled. Profitable? I hope not. If you're gonna fuck the game, you shouldn't get rewarded. Uh, it's like total free capitalism without any restraints, except we can't produce anything on our own. 
Kind of reflects. Lost had rebalancing the Neo Pets and Cotty was top priority, not the bots. Good to know that many hackers had a merge. Discovered and obtained databases. 69 million members. Hacker attempted to sell the Neopet database for Bitcoin. Healing the red. I, I'm kind of over this. Would you like to give us money? No. I had a pillow. Ooh, someone got this coin. This is the FC water. I got, I think it said five of these, if I remember correctly. At the very bottom, it showed that. People said it was worth a billion, I think, but. Sure, I'm not even sure who's going to pay for that. I wanted to. Re what? Pass a week. Alice could cheek. Do we ever want to pound her? Yeah. Here we go. I just saw it a little while ago. Where is it? Well, I'll be back in a second. All right, here it is. Here it is. Excuse me. Kind of frustrated about how Neopets uses offsite social media for events lately. I don't know if it's a post in this vein has been made lately. I don't check the subject regularly because it's pretty worthless. I And also, they don't respond here from TNT. Update on the Treasure Hunt puzzle event that will lead up to the Neopets avatars hosting on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. Plus plot related announcement clues on Instagram. Like, I don't do any of that. Because, yes, like, they want to, like, if you're playing Neopets, they're not going to attract any new users from if they post it there. So it's just basically, it's just basic marketing. You can't view these websites unless you have an account to log into. I mean, you can't even say that. But it's very frustrating. Someone who doesn't want a social media presence besides Reddit where I periodically delete my accounts. Illusion Jadora OTP. Okay. The real gags, you can't mention them exactly. All the more reason to push for TNT. Hard agree. I don't know. Same shit, different day. I'm about bored enough for one day. Just another demoralizing day on Reddit for terms of Neopets. There's a post with some interesting... I got the discount recently. Pretty cool. All right. Catch you guys next time. I'm probably going to gamble like five, ten thousand 10,000 Neocol tokens in the next... I don't know whether it's on the weekend or next weekend, but yeah. If you got some Neocol tokens you want to sell me for 3,000 each, let me know. I'll buy a whole bunch. All right. Peace. Take care. Don't drop the soap unless you want to. Peace.